what's up collective it's that time again for a collective what you need to know all right what you need to know at this time let's see hmm. what deck i want to use i think i want to use the crow tarot let's see you guys what is it that you need to know Welcome back, those of you that's returning, and welcome to Beach with Tarot if you are new and you're joining us, you're tapping in for the first time. I'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me. It's always a pleasure. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscribes, the donations. I appreciate it all. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all the super chats, the cash apps, the memos, all of it. I see it all. I love you guys. All right, so... Let's see what you need to know. This is general, meaning I'm picking up on multiple energies and storylines and situations. Get in where you fit in. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. Don't force it if it's not your message, okay? And please keep in mind that the roles are interchangeable. Flip and bounce the roles as you see fit. My readings are timeless. Whenever you come across it is when it may resonate with you. And also, they're all inclusive, meaning no matter um, what your sexual preference is or your gender, if it resonates, it resonates, okay? He, she, they, heterosexual, uh, if you like the same sex, if you like both, it does not matter. If the message is for you, it's for you, okay? Uh, like I said, my readings are inclusive, all inclusive, so I read for everybody. Y'all just get in where y'all fit in and take what resonates. All right, y'all. With that being said, let's get into it. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what is it that the collective needs to know during this time? What is going on with my collective? What messages do you have for them? What is it that they need to know, Holy Spirit? What is it that the collective needs to know during this time? Give me two more shuffles for them, please, and thank you. Um, I've been using my larger cards today. And I don't know, I just love it. I love using bigger cards. So I've been using bigger cards as of recent. Today, all day today, even in the personals, I've been using larger decks. But, okay. <laughs> so we have the Queen of Wands here. I love it. We have the Queen of Wands. the cups at the bottom of the deck ace of cups king of wands so there's an offer coming in mm -hmm. king of wands queen of wands ace of cups some of you guys could be fire signs don't necessarily have to be but it's two passionate people here i'm hearing love never dies true love never dies that's what i just heard true love never dies Somebody here could definitely be a Leo. Somebody here could have strong Leo placements. You or them, maybe both of you. But I'm getting strong Leo energy. I can't help but look at these three lions, okay? Something significant about Leo energy. Somebody here is definitely a Leo, dealing with a Leo. Somebody here got strong Leo placements, like I said. Somebody here could also be an Aries or a Sag or have strong fire. Either, either way, it's a lot of passion between these two people, King and Queen of Wands. You both could be very good looking, too, Okay. Somebody here may love sunflowers. Somebody here could have a sunflower tattoo. Somebody here may love roses. That's so funny. I love roses and sunflowers. I tell you guys all the time, like, that together is like my perfect set. Anybody ever want to buy me flowers? If you put sunflowers and roses together, I love it. I also love tiger lilies. But, um, yeah, king and queen of wands here. Ace of cups, slap dab in the middle. There's an offer being made. Uh, I, and I and I heard love never love never dies. Somebody here is is trying to go get what they want. They they trying to go get somebody that they want. They trying to make something right with somebody that they're desiring. Will you take my love off, or will you accept my apology? That's what I'm that's what I'm getting from this. Will you take my love off, or will you accept my apology? I'm really sorry for betraying you. I'm really sorry for hurting you. Somebody here is really genuinely sorry. Like, y'all know, I have no problem dragging anybody, especially these karmics. I don't give a fuck about a karmic. But um, I'm also going to be very honest when something's genuine. Somebody here is, like, literally genuinely sorry. 
So this King of Wands could have hurt this Queen of Wands. Maybe this Queen of Wands hurt this King of Wands. You both could have hurt each other. Who knows? But I'm telling you, like, somebody here is genuinely sorry. Give me something on this Ten of Swords in the reverse. I know for a fact that somebody's very genuine. Yeah, this is fated to happen. This is destined to happen. This is destined to happen. This is a past life soulmate connection. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Whoever this is, you guys have a past life soulmate connection. And with the Wheel of Fortune upright, it's like faded for this apology to happen. Even if you two don't decide to be together, it's faded. It's a faded event playing out for you guys in some way, shape, or form. There's a conversation that needs to happen. There's an apology that needs to happen. There's something here that needs to happen between you two. Um, give me something on this Wheel of Fortune. There's so many lions in this deck. Because there's a lion here at the bottom of this Wheel of Fortune too. Somebody here's spirit animal could be a lion. Somebody here definitely got strong Leo placement. Somebody here under judgment though. What the fuck? Somebody here's under judgment and, and, and another person is having a new beginning. So I don't feel... Yeah, this is, yeah, the will is turning in a way where everybody's going to their destined spots where they where they're supposed to be. Somebody's under judgment, another person having a new beginning. Who's under judgment? Give me something on this judgment in the reverse. Who's under judgment? Who's under judgment, spirit? Yeah, the judgment is a final call here. Because somebody here was attacking somebody. Somebody attacked their lover or they're supposed to be lover. Somebody here attacked their person. Somebody here attacked their past life soulmate, their person. Somebody that they were supposed to build the life with in this lifetime as well. Somebody attacked that person and now they're under judgment. Yeah, this is why somebody's saying they're really sorry. Mm -hmm. This is why somebody's saying they're really sorry. Collective, if this was you, where your your person, your so-called quote-unquote person attacked you and betrayed you in this lifetime, yeah, they getting karma. And you got a new beginning without them. But there could be something here happening where this person is coming in to talk to you and that's destined to happen or it's fated to happen for some of you. For others of you, you may not even want the communication. You may not even want it. Give me something on the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you may not even want the communication because somebody here is still not being completely honest about what really happened. Somebody here is still on some bullshit. And I feel like whoever you are collective, you intuitively know this. You've shown up as the high priestess. So it's like, just please get the fuck away from me. So this took a turn. It's like somebody in their heart is genuinely sorry, but they too prideful. So it's like, even if you guys do speak, they're not being very clear about what they truly sorry for because of their pride. Their pride and ego keeps getting in the way, which is why they're under judgment, which is why you have a new beginning with them without them. Excuse me. They want a new beginning with you. OK, but it's not going to happen. This is why you're having a new beginning with them. With You see how I keep saying with them. This is what this person wants, but it don't look like that's what's going to happen. This is why you're having a new beginning without them. And this is why they're under judgment and they're getting karma. Because their ego and pride gets in the way every time. This is this, Their ego and pride got in the way when they attacked you. Their ego and pride is still getting in the way now. Even though they're saying that they're genuinely sorry. If you actually do get the opportunity to speak to this person. Their pride and ego is still taking over to the point where they're not being completely straightforward and upfront. About what they, what they truly claim they're sorry for. There's still conflict surrounding this person as well. You showing up as a high priestess collective. You intuitively know to avoid this shit. You like, yo, I'm good. I don't need the fucking headache. You still on some bullshit. It's like this person's a shapeshifter. It's like a love-hate relationship. It's like, I love you and I'm sorry. And I know that I really fucked up. And the only reason why this person feel that way is because they getting karma. If they wasn't under judgment, if they wasn't getting karma, this motherfucker wouldn't even be, wouldn't even be saying that they sorry. So it's not really genuine when you really think of it that way. Like this person... It's like they just really saying they really sorry because the shit is hitting them. It's backfiring on them. Whatever attacks they sent you, whatever they did, whatever ill they wished on you, whatever gossip, whatever slander, whatever spiritual attacks was coming from this person. 
it, or somebody that they was involved with is what I just heard as well. It's like they under they under judgment for this. They getting karma for this. The karma is hitting them so bad or it's going to hit them so bad that they're going to start to feel really sorry about what they did. But then it's like, are you really sorry? Because your pride and ego is still in a way you can't even like be straightforward. You can't even be upfront about your feelings. You can't even be straightforward and upfront about what you truly claim you sorry for. What is it that you really did? Like this person is still looking for a cop out. They still looking to blame other people. Like whoever this is, they like to put the blame on other people this point this person likes to point the finger it's a lack of accountability here on this person's end y'all avoiding this person whoever you are collective you too intuitive you too tapped in to even fall for this bullshit you showing up as the high priestess you're like yo just go ahead yo just go ahead somebody here could be an air sign or a capricorn or a fire sign y'all both could be fire signs or y'all could both have strong fire placements Somebody here could be a Capricorn, have strong Capricorn placements. Somebody here could be an air sign, have strong air placements. It's like, yo, just get the fuck away from me. This person is so immature. Somebody here could have an Aquarius or a Capricorn moon or a Gemini moon. Somebody here is like, like, what's really, like, no, no, absolutely not. This is ridiculous. Like, this person's attitude is like, so this just took a turn. Because I thought, <laughs> I thought I was about to read some other shit, but... <laughs> Apparently not. This person is still on some bullshit, y'all. And I feel like you intuitively know this. There go that Leo energy again. Strength call. You're like, yo, get away. Just get away from me. I feel like this person triggers the fuck out of you. I feel like they actually bring out the worst in you. This is why it didn't work before. This is why it's not going to work this time around either. I feel like you intuitively know that as well. You're getting the sound. You're getting the sounds. You're getting the signs and synchronicities. You're receiving the downloads that you need to in order to let you know that this is this is a no. This person is going to continue to trigger you. They're going to continue to bring the worst out in you because this person is in their is they're too much in their shadow. Somebody here could be a Pisces. Somebody here could have strong Pisces placements. This person is too much in their, their shadow. It's like it's a no. It's so frustrating. I'm picking up on the frustration. It's just like, bro, does it ever end? Do you ever learn? Do you ever grow up? Like, collective, whoever you are, you can feel this way about this person. It's like, what the fuck? Like, do you ever learn? Do you ever grow up? Do you ever take responsibility? And it's like, no, they don't, which is why you're walking away. Eight of cups to the nine of cups. You like, I don't need this shit. Yeah, eight of cups to the nine of cups. That's the energy I'm getting. The Nine of Cups didn't come out, you guys, but I saw it in a pre-shuffle and I just mentally saw the Nine of Cups once I pulled the Eight of Cups. You're going from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, or this is what you have already done. But it's like you're completely walking away. And this will has turned in such a way where your new beginning is happening and this person's karma is happening simultaneously. They're getting karma while you're getting a new beginning and it's all happening at the same time. Yeah. This person feels in prison. They feel like they're in a, some sort of self-imposed prison. It is self-imposed. A lot of it has to do with their ego and pride. But this is some. This is somebody that y'all could have blocked and stopped communicating with because of their ego and pride. Because it's so frustrating to get through to this person. It's so frustrating to reach a common ground with this person. It's like, this is why the communication has been fucked up. This is why the communication is so short or this is why the communication was blocked because you can't get through to this person. You know that it's almost impossible to move forward in a positive direction with this person. It always leads into an argument. You you two always end up fucking arguing here. Confirmation. It's like it, it just it's always a fucking argument. Every time you talk to this person, it becomes stressful. It becomes a tit for tat. It becomes a blame game. It just you you guys just can't y'all just can't see eye to eye. Y'all just can't. And it's like this person may their intentions is to have an equal give and take partnership with you. They could be saying that a third party got in the way of you two having a partnership. This person, so there we go with the blaming. This person is finding somebody else to blame right now. And I'm, you know, listen, for some of you, it that is true. We all know that karmics do be doing a lot. Karmics be doing the absolute most. Like, we know that. That's why I don't have no respect for them. And I don't give a fuck about their feelings. Like, y'all know I don't read for karmics. But we got a karmic distorted feminine here. We got an empress in the reverse. This could be somebody's karmic ex, karmic girlfriend, karmic wife, karmic baby mama. But there's an empress in the reverse that this person is saying got in the way of y'all connection. This person is saying that they want to still come towards you and have an equal give and take partnership with you. This person is saying that they're sorry. 
they're really sorry. It's like, I'm really, really, really sorry. I'm really sorry. So I'm getting that same energy again of this person saying that they're genuinely sorry. Somebody here is fucking with this person's energy. You see, yes, they have a lot of pride and they have a big ego, but collective whoever you are, I feel like you may struggle with that too. You both could be very stubborn. But somebody here is playing in this person's energy. Somebody here could be trying to play in your energy too. But I don't think it's really successful with you because you showing up as the high priestess and you got the seven of wands next to you. I feel like you your protection go your protection run too deep. And you too balanced for anything to really be affecting you like that for real, for real. At this point in your journey, you too fucking tapped in. You too balanced. Like, you notice that shit right away. You nip it in the bud, whoever you are, collective. But your person is not that skilled as you, at least not yet. You know, you could have surpassed them as far as your journey and your timeline is concerned. But this person is really trying to catch up because they feel like you two could have an equal give and take partnership. They really feel like you two can. They saying that this karmic got in the way, that this, this karmic is the reason why they stayed away from you or they released you and they want a higher form of commitment. For some of you, this person is saying that they can't wait. They about to make a move. This person wants to commit to you. They want a higher level of commitment. Somebody here could be a Taurus. Somebody here got a Taurus Venus is what I just heard. It's Taurus Venus. Somebody got a Taurus Venus or a Taurus North Node. But somebody here is just ready to commit. Like, somebody here is just like, I, I'm ready to commit. Like, I just, I have to. Like, I, I'm ready to tell you how I feel. But somebody here is pulling on this person's energy. So, there is a karmic in the way. They saying that the karmic is not in the way anymore. But whoever this karmic is, she's showing up as the queen of swords in the reverse. She could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody here could be a Cancer or a Capricorn. But this karmic is in the way. He's right. The karmic is pulling on this person's energy. It's like this person has every intention on expressing their undying love for you. For some of you, this person is even wanting, wanting a higher level of commitment. They want to marry you. This person has their heart dead set on you. They have in their mind that they want to spend the rest of their life with you. And whoever this karmic is, they pulling on this person's energy. This person miss y'all so much. It's ridiculous. Six of Cups. Like, they really miss y'all a lot. They heartbroken. Yo, this person's so heartbroken. Six of Cups, Three of Swords, they so heartbroken. They miss you so much. They said they just want to be with you. They're tired. They're drained. They're overwhelmed. They wish they would have did right by you when they first met you. They hate that they had to go through all of this. Or they hate that you had to go through things without them. It's like you both went through karmic lessons um, separate from one another. But whoever this person is, their karmic cycle is really wearing them down to the point where they just wish that they never had to even experience that shit. They just wish that they would have been with you just straight from the jump. But then it's like, you two needed to learn. You two needed to go through those karmic lessons apart from one another so that you can become better individuals separately and then come back together. This could be your twin flame because that's really how the twin flame journey goes for most people. Uh, you know every twin flame connection people like to romanticize the twin flame connection but we all know most of us know that are really tapped in and understand this shit it's not always about romance you don't always need to be with your twin sometimes you really just are the catalyst to their healing and sometimes you two are supposed to go into business together. Sometimes you two are just supposed to have a friendship. Like, you're not supposed to always be romantically involved with your twin. And it took me a minute to realize that because at first I thought that that's just, like, it. Like, that's your person. That's who you're supposed to be with. Like, your lord, you're supposed to have this undying loyalty for them and wait for them until they heal. And they're supposed to wait for you when you heal and yeah my views on it has changed a lot but um this person is so in love with you and i feel like you still love them because that's what i first heard when i first pulled y'all king and queen of wands it's like the love never dies like that's how that's what i had heard like true love never dies the love never dies <sighs> y'all stressing me out <laughs> um <laughs> Y'all stressed out. This person stressed out. This is stressing me out. Some of y'all saying y'all ain't stressed out. But you know this person. They have stressed you out at some point. This is your fucking twin. Um, 
Who's depressed? Somebody's depressed? Who depressed? This person heartbroken and they miss you, but I know they ain't saying they depressed. Mm, nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. The Hermit reverse. The world reverse. They don't want this cycle to close out. It'll break their heart forever. They saying that they'll be depressed. It'll break their heart forever. It'll feel like a death. It'll feel like a death if you said goodbye. Oh my God. I'm, I'm channeling that song. This is so heavy. Oh my God. Well, why don't y'all just talk then? I feel like that's about to happen soon if it hasn't happened already. This is heavy as fuck, y'all. Like, I know it just sounds like whatever, like me giving a message, but energetically speaking, what I'm picking up on, this is heavy. Um, I'm hearing that song by Melodrome. Melodrome is called Fashionably Uninvited. And I'm hearing that part in the song when it goes, I'll die if you leave me. It's called Fashionably Uninvited by Melodrome. I'll die if you leave me. Ugh. This person is saying it'll feel like a death. It'll feel like their world is caving in on them, crashing down and burning. This person feels like, the world is going to stop if this cycle really closed out. Like, their world is going to stop. They're not going to know what to do with themselves. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, which, why y'all got me? Lord, this is heavy. Yeah, that's the truth, Ace of Swords. And this is why somebody here is saying that they have to do something about this. They have to do something. These cards are so beautiful. I love this deck. Look at that Ace of Swords. Isn't that like the prettiest Ace of Swords you guys ever seen? But Ace of Swords to the fool. This person is like, that's the truth. And I got to say something. I got to say something. I got to at least try. I can't continue and live life without not knowing, without trying. Like, I have to try to get you back. You are the love of my life. This is your twin. I knew it. I fucking knew it, bro. The lovers. I knew it. This is this is your twin. I knew it. Only a twin flame connection is gonna bring this kind of energy and emotion out. Like this is this y'all both stubborn. It's both of y'all. This person is ready to heal something with you. Collective the star. Somebody here can have strong Aquarius placement. You or them, both of you. Somebody here is listen. When I tell you they are ready to heal something with you, they ready to at least just try. Let, like let's just try. Like. That's probably what they're going to say to you. Like, let's just try. And if it don't work, okay, okay. But let's just try. Please, like, let's just try. Oh, my goodness. Somebody here want to have a family with you. Look at this shit. Ten of Cups. Let's just try. Please, like, let's just try. Let's just try. Let's... Let's try. Let's try. If it don't work, okay, I'll leave you alone. I promise I'll leave you alone. It, I'll leave you alone if it don't work, but let's just try. Yeah, this person is done being in a mental prison about this. They're done letting a karmic distorted feminine hold them back. They could have had multiple karmics in their life. Maybe even friends and family members holding them back at some point. This person is tired. They said they can't take it anymore. They don't want to live another second without you. They feel like there's so much working against them. They also feel like somebody that they trusted is working against them. A king of pentacles. They feel like this person could have did some sort of spell work or magic on them. They feel like there's a King of Pentacles in the way as well. And they feel like this King of Pentacles is watching them to see if they make a move towards you or not. This person feels like everybody is against them when it comes to being with you. But they said they don't want to live life without you. They're ready to set themselves free. Will you forgive me? I'm sorry. Collective, whoever you are, I feel like 
you've managed to go on with life and heal without this person. So, I just feel like you're extremely independent. You're in a good space now. You may have not always been in that space because this was everything that you wanted. This is all that you ever wanted. But some of you are saying it's too late. I'm hearing Happy Ending by Avril Lavigne. I'm channeling all these older songs. So I heard Fashionably Uninvited by Melodrome. And now I'm channeling Avril Lavigne, My Happy Ending. It was everything, everything that I wanted. We were meant to be, supposed to be, but we lost it. All of our memories just fade away. All of our memories just fade away. All this time you were pretending so much for my happy ending. Oh my God, y'all remember that song? I think I'm going to listen to that. I haven't, nah, maybe I won't. It's going to put me in my feelings. This reading is putting me in my feelings. Um, But Avril Lavigne, my happy ending. Oh my God, I was a huge Avril Lavigne fan. Shout out to Avril Lavigne. She's a Libra. I love her. Um... But yeah, so much for my happy ending is what I'm channeling and fashionably uninvited by Mellow Drone. But yeah, this person, this person knows that you've developed some sort of independence here where you're living life without them and you're okay without them. And that hurts them a lot too. The fact that you have managed to be okay living life without them and they don't, they're not at that place. They feel like they may not even be able to ever get to that place. They feel like you're going to always be in the back of their mind. This person feel like they can't stop thinking about you. They like, how did you heal and manage to live life happily without me? Like, I'm still over here thinking about you. And it's not to say that you don't think about this person collective, but you have reached a certain level of independence where you're like, you're okay. Like you've come to the terms with the fact that this shit ain't work. It ain't go to, it ain't go well. It ain't work. And it is what it is. And they just like, well, how can you say that? Like, how can you be okay with that? Cause I, I can't breathe. I can't breathe without you. God damn it. This person in love with y'all. <laughs> King of Cups. They so in love with you. It's ridiculous. The person so in love with y'all. They so in love with y'all. Wounded warrior. This person feels like a wounded warrior. The wounded warrior. Mm. They restless. This person be losing sleep over y'all. For some of you, this person be dreaming about you and shit. Maybe you dreaming about them too. Y'all have a strong connection. Y'all could telepathically communicate, but I feel like there's some sort of 3D communication that will be had somebody here could be a libra we got the justice card in the upright somebody here could be an aries we got the emperor in the upright somebody here could definitely be a leo we got the sun in the upright this person is ready for you i don't know what y'all want to do it's up to y'all we got the emperor the sun and the justice all in the upright Somebody here feels like, this person feel like they breadcrumbed you and they said they're going to make up for it. They sorry. They ready to put the hard work and effort in Eight of Pentacles. This person lost a lot though. Like this judgment that I'm seeing, it has a lot, it could have a lot to do with their finances. Again, like I had picked up on earlier, somebody here feel like they lost a lot. This person feel like they lost a lot. They could have lost a lot of money in a certain situation. They could have lost a lot of money for betraying you. They could have lost a lot of money for listening to karmics. They could have lost a lot of money because they invested in the wrong person. This person feel like they took a great loss. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse of the five of Pentacles reverse. This person feel like they took a great loss. This person could even be saying like they don't have 
as much to offer as they would like to offer, but they working damn hard to make it up to you. And collective, you are empress, you are high priestess, you a good person, you a good hearted woman. So it's not always about what you have. It's about your heart, your intentions, your mindset, where you're going in life. If you're actually trying, you know, it's not about always what you have, like. What y'all gonna do in this situation, Collective? This message is um, getting me emotional. Um, <laughs> this is like, what the fuck? What y'all gonna do? Like, what are y'all gonna do? I feel like you still care about this person. I heard real love never dies. The love never dies. <sighs> Spirit is kind of protecting you from this person, though. Like, it's like you're being shielded or protected from this person because it's like drama surrounding them in some way you showing up as the queen of swords it's like you setting boundaries with this person you've set up a lot of boundaries you set up you set up some sort of boundaries here and you don't really want this person to just come in and disrupt your peace yeah we got the will of fortune here in the upright again it's like please don't disrupt this level of peace that i worked so hard to get to I feel that. I, I could feel that on a person. This person. This person is heavily burdened and weighed down. They went through an extreme time moment. They lost a lot. I told you. Somebody here lost a lot. Like somebody here has lost a lot. Like. And they could have thought that maybe you did this to them. And that could have been another reason why they started attacking you or thought you was the enemy. And now they could be finally getting some information that it wasn't you. They finding shit out. Like, now they feel silly. Now they want to come back. Now they want to give you a love offer. Ace of Cups. This person is showing up as the emperor, y'all. The emperor to the Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. The Emperor to the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. What y'all trying to do? They getting away from a karmic distorted feminine that has been emotionally manipulating them. Somebody here could have been doing spell work on this man. I see that. Yeah. Somebody here could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Virgo, a Air Sign. Yeah. This person is, they like, listen, please. Just let's try, please. That's that's how they come in. Let's try. Like, please, let's just try. Yeah, they want a higher level commitment. Somebody here can have strong fire or Taurus in HR. I kept I kept hearing somebody got a Taurus Venus or a Taurus North Node. You or them, well, both of you. But we got the Emperor here, the King of Wands, and the Hierophant. Strong fire, strong Taurus. Aries, Leo, Sag, and Taurus. This person is ready. They said they so in love with you. I cannot. Ten of Cups is here again in the upright. Ten of Cups came out in the other deck in the upright too. A lot of y'all feel like this person did you wrong. They could be a king of swords in the reverse that's jealous. Because they had an attraction for this man. So maybe your person had a situation with the same sex. That's for some of you, not all. Okay, don't listen. Don't attack me, guys. Get in where you fit in. But for some of you, your person could have had a situation with the same sex. Or there could have been a friend or somebody that they know of the same sex that had a crush on them or something like that. Or maybe they just really dealt with this person. I don't know. To each his own. I'm not judging. But I'm just saying it's another masculine here that has some sort of attraction for this person. And they feel like it's unfair if this person gets with you. Yeah, that's the truth. Because the same, the, somebody of the same sex wanted to be with them or is going to miss them or feels like they're not going to be a part of their life anymore if they come towards you because of something else that went on between them or some feelings that they have for them or something. They don't like you. They hate you because where do they fit in at? If this person builds a family with you, then where do I fit in at? What about me, bro? Like, it's some shit like that. Lord have mercy. Listen, 
y'all do what y'all want. Y'all not about to have me and and my feelings over here because I was I was just fine before Spirit told me to get on here and give y'all a message. I was doing just fine. Bitch was watching Netflix chilling. Like mm, I'm gonna holler at y'all. Y'all get in where y'all fitting. Y'all do what y'all want. I do see a high level of commitment here that this person wants. I see you having a new beginning. Either way. But it'll be up to you what you want to do. Everybody's situation is different. Some of y'all saying absolutely the fuck not. And then others of you are saying, maybe, I'm open to it. So, you know, everybody's situation is a little different. But um, your person having a difficult time right now. And they may not be... They may not have as much as they want to have right now or as much as they want to offer you and I feel like that's something that's really bothering them right now but not knowing if you two could have made things work is bothering them more than anything and they don't want to live life without not knowing they don't want to live life with the coulda shoulda woulda But all right, you guys, I love you and I am, I love you and I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Peace.